up, Leslie fam? So I just put Liam down to bed. Um, that's actually getting easier and easier. Um, he's actually been sleeping through the night. It is a huge milestone for us. Um, we've been sleep deprived for about a year and a half now. He would wake up like constantly at like 12 and then three and then like literally whatever the hell he wants. And he'd ask for his milk and we'd give him his milk, but um, we've cut him cold turkey and we want to give him his nighttime bottle and that's it. And then we have we make sure that he has his binky in his hand so that way he knows like once his bottle's done like put your binky in your mouth and go to bed um he's been doing really well with that um and so now with that being said magali's been like so see it's not so bad now that he's sleeping through the night you know baby number two i'm like ah no um no baby number two i personally do not want a second one um, Magali, if it was her way, she'd have like 10 children, but, um, I don't know. For me, it just not, it doesn't come that easily to say, oh yeah, let's have another child. Like, it's no big deal. Um, to me, it's more of like, oh, I gotta start this shit all over again. Um, as a baby, they're like, cool, like easy, but then they get to that, like, one-year-old stage and start walking and then you're terrified that they're gonna smack themselves against something and Liam used to smack himself all the time on his head um so I don't know it's just been so like it's been hard with Liam but at the same time like he's a great baby um I can't really complain that much he just has this like aggression right now that's his like phase right now um whoever said terrible twos are terrible. I don't know about one and a half year olds. They're freaking horrible. Um, I was just texting Akira the other day. We were texting back and forth and she was saying how, oh my God, Cash is like in his tantrums and going crazy. And I was like, girl, I feel you. Cause Liam, whew, I can't even take him around other kids right now. It's, it's crazy. And so my thought is like, what if we do have a second child? What type of torture is Liam gonna do that second baby? If it's a girl, like, oh hell nah. You, you're not gonna touch the little girl. And then if it's a boy, it's still the same, but I mean, boys will be more rough. Um, but I don't know. That's also something that comes into play when thinking about a second child. Like, how is Liam gonna take it? <laughs> is he gonna be nice to the baby? Is he not? Is he gonna continue to be a menace to society? Is he gonna get super jealous? Because now, Magali and I hug and he like gets in the middle of us and he's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, bro, you're such a cock blocker. So I can't even hug her. Um, and he's like that with Magali and with my dad. So if anybody tries to hug my dad, like my mom tries to hug my dad, he's like, no, 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 no. And he'll like get between them and push her out of the way, which is hilarious when it's not you, but when it's you, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Get off of me. Um, I was hugging Magali earlier today and he was like, no, 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 no. And then he points at me and then he points at her and he goes, no, 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 no. I was like, oh, how you gonna just no, no, no me? That I was like, I, she's been my wife longer than she's been your mama. So, other things that come into play with having a second child, I just, I don't know. I just wasn't ever the type, I never saw myself having a kid in the first place. Um, but I know it was something that Magali really wanted and I kind of wanted it too towards the end of the decision making. And now that I have them, I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm good. I don't need another one or a third one. Nope, I'm good with one. But she really, really wants another one. Um, and it's making it harder and harder because now everyone around us is pregnant. Magali's sister-in-law, Ellie, is pregnant with twin girls. Um, my sister's pregnant, way to go. Uh, she was my last resort. I was like, uh, apparently one of my cousins was like, oh yeah, you said last time that if Susie gets pregnant, you'll be next. I was like, Arr? 
That's because I had faith that my sister would not get pregnant and now she's pregnant, so now I'm screwed. I mean, having a kid, like your first one, changes everything. Changes vacations, changes your daily like routine, changes everything. And having a second one, I don't know. I, I'm afraid it's gonna change more and sometimes I get super frustrated with Liam. Today, Magali came home and she, like, you could tell, she was just, like, at her breaking point. Liam was acting a fool in church. And she was, I guess, frustrated. And she didn't know church was going to be, like, an hour and a half long to two hours. And so she was like, what the, you know. And so he was acting a fool. He always acts up with her because he knows that he can get away with it, kind of. Um, she's way more lenient than me. Um, like when she left, when she left, he was like throwing his little fit. I was like, bro, you got to cut that shit out. And then he came into the kitchen with her shoes and he was like, ah, I told him, I was like, go put mommy's shoes away. And sure enough, he put mommy's shoes away and then he came back and it was already like nine o'clock. So it was like bedtime. Um, so me and him have a different relationship than Magali and him do. Um, he knows that with me, like, I don't sugarcoat it. I don't, like, I'll be lovey-dovey when it's needed, but when he needs to be disciplined or when he needs to be put in check, like, I I'll do that. Um, but yeah, so starting that all over again, like, Liam's starting to understand now. And it's cool because it's like, go put your toys away. And he'll, like, look at me and he'll think about it. And then I'll do the count. I'll be like, one, two... And then he'll like run and go put his toys away. Um, and so to start that all over again, I, I don't know. It's stressful. I'm stressing out just thinking about starting it all over again. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I commend everybody who has more than one child. Um, I'm just, I don't know. And then it sucks because my job right now has legit had me working like 10, 12 hour shifts. So it's hard coming home and not helping Magali as much as I used to because I'm stuck at work. I leave before they wake up and sometimes I get home once Liam's already asleep. So it's kind of hard um, thinking that she'd be stuck now with two kids, um, you know, a baby and then Liam. And Liam right now is just a lot to handle sometimes. Um, but then adding like a baby to it I don't know she says she can handle it I just don't know if I can um as much as I think about it and as much as I try to convince myself like okay maybe we can do it you know maybe Liam does need a sibling um to kind of calm calm him down um but I don't know it's hard it's a hard decision because again like I said like I was never intending to have kids that was never my plan i wanted to be the cool aunt i wanted to travel i wanted to spend my money on lavish things get cool cars and like you know live it up um but life had other plans for me and i'm completely fine where i'm at um i could not imagine not having liam anymore or having him in my life like it's crazy crazy how your mind just switches in the amount of love that you had for this little person who sometimes gets on your nerves and you want to smack around, but you know it's illegal, so you don't. Um, uh, but sometimes, oh man, that little human, Jesus, tests you to the limit. And you know what? Nobody's perfect. And I know that I've had a couple meltdowns. We've always had a couple meltdowns. But the cool thing about it is that we don't have them together. Because <laughs> if we did, I don't know what would happen. Um, like right now, she almost had a little meltdown and she was really frustrated. So she's at the gym right now um, working out and, you know, getting that frustration out. Which is cool because I was like, okay, like I work all day. You don't get to do much after work. So go do that and I'll put him to bed. And bed has, you know, bedtime has been great. So, you know, it's it gets easier sometimes. But then there's those hard days that I'm like questioning like a second one. 
I don't know. Going from one to two, is it easy? Is it harder? How was your experience? Because I'm finding it extremely hard to, to consider um, having a second one. Um, and the other thing is, is that if, if we do have a second one, um, I think I would like to do IVF, the same thing that Dina and, and Erica did, the Cruz family did. Um, I think it would be interesting to see what a little me looks like. So, um, and then sometimes I think like, nah, I'm cool. Like, mm. you know, Magala can have the, the second one. That's fine. I still have the same bond with my child anyways. Um, and Liam has like an amazing bond with my family. So it's to, you know, there's no difference, but I think it would be cool, um, to see what I would look like in a mini me. Um, but that yearning hasn't like overpowered my no kids yearning. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's hard to think about having a second one when sometimes I feel like we don't have our shit together with the first one. Like, how do you then say, oh, let's do another one. Like, it, I don't know. We, and, and plus, we don't have a oops situation. Oh, uh, we have a, oh, let me sign right here on the dotted line and sign my life away. Um, and sell my kidney for my baby. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we have to think about. And I guess it's a good thing because you weigh the pros and cons of having a second one. And... Who knows, maybe the mood might strike and I might say, yeah, I don't know. You know, um, I know Magali is yearning for another one because she sees how Liam's growing up and he's already getting older and she's like, well, you know, you know, we don't want to have Liam be too separated from his sibling. And I'm like, oh my God, pressure is on. And then it's like, I don't want to hold her back because I know she yearns for a second one. But then it's like, it's a tough situation to be in. Your wife is yearning for a second child, you're saying no. But I, like, I'm like 70% sure that I don't. So if you guys have any type of advice, if you guys were in the same situation and your partner said, you know what, screw it, let's have a second one. Um, share your experience with us. Uh, I think Macaulay just got home, so. Make sure you guys like, comment down below about your own experience, and subscribe.